This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics. We're selling this truck. It's a 2017 Ford F-150 Super Cab. That's a four-door extra cab. Um, short bed. It's the XL with the X STX upgrade package. Um, it has a 5-liter V8 motor, two-wheel drive. has low miles, 33,938 miles. It was a lease return we purchased directly uh, from the lease company in Phoenix. Uh, I personally drove this home from Phoenix beautiful truck um, it does have a powertrain uh, warranty left that expires 928 of 20 or at 60,000 miles so it's got a lot of powertrain left um, I doubt you need it if you take care of it and keep it out of a ditch but uh, it's there if you needed it um, let's see all we had to do was detail and put a new bumper on it and this is the old bumper so Carfax shows that it was in a rear end accident, 4-1 of 19. This bumper almost was okay. Looks like it just bumped it a little bit right here and it broke the insert. So the insert would see, even though that looks fine. Just enough of a tap to need a new bumper. So we bought a new bumper, had it painted, and put a new insert in and that's what it looks like. So now you know, that's what happened to it. Uh, our videos are very honest. <laughs> we don't leave anything out. We have plenty of people who will see this vehicle and be fine with everything that's right and wrong and the whole bit but we just can't leave shit out so we don't okay so anyway it's got a set of michelins on it obviously those weren't factory so someone liked this truck at some point to put michelins on it uh probably 350 400 bucks a tire and they're about 50 percent tread so got a ways to go with those really nice running truck i can attest to that i was the driver of it uh XL is a lower trim level, but when you put the STX package in, you get wheels, you get carpet, you get all kinds of stuff that it's really more of a, a nice XLT. I'm not really sure why they even offer an XL with an They just should just call it an STX and that would be self-explanatory. But it's a nice truck, super nice truck. Um, there's no dings on this side. There's nothing. There's a little ding right here in the bumper. Look at the bed so you let the it'll let itself down gently looks like nothing's ever been in the bed right make sure there's nothing behind the plate and there's not okay tow hitch light plugs boom okay huh you can lock it huh Interesting. trying to see anything on this bedside. I don't see anything on the bedside either. Generally, when you see a truck like this, it met one to the foreman, right? The big boss. So he's not gonna, he is not gonna get this thing broken or scratched because he goes to dinner in this truck, you know? Pretty truck. Come on, my brother's gonna take 40 to 60 HD pictures. You can look at the cosmetics closer there. 34,039 miles are now on it. Like I said, I drove it from Phoenix, which is about 105 miles. There you go. Okay. As promised, here's your Kelly Blue Book, six and a half foot XL, uh, with 33,938. That's what I'd have when I bought it. Now it's got 100 more, not that it matters, but. Uh, typical listing price for this truck would be twenty nine seven something. Uh, they I can't make that ad go away when I print. It's weird. Um, history of events affecting this vehicle's value. They blend the Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book, and they come up with twenty nine nine eighty as the value. One owner, personal vehicle, accident reported four one nineteen. Told you about that. Ba -ba -ba -ba, there's the VIN. Okay. Ba -ba -ba, one owner. No major title problems, which you wouldn't expect, but it's nice to know. All right. All right. So there's that. It says here, vehicle involved the rear in collision with another. Uh, there's nothing wrong on the rear, so we assume it's the front bumper, right? There's no paintwork on the vehicle, so that's that. Now you know about it, right? Okay. Let me open the hood.
All right. So you got your Ford stamp here. So you got an original fender, right? Which is important. Ford stamp here on the hood. Everything where it belongs. Ford stamp here. So you know you got original fenders and hood and everything. So there you go. There's your 5 0. Probably the most made motor ever. It used to be the 5 7 Chevy, and then they went to the 5 3, which was a mistake. But the 5 3 is a pretty good motor now, finally, but it took a long time. I think Ford's smart not to get away from the 5 0. That would be a mistake. Got some nice uh, floor mats here, the hard plastic floor mats. This seat is like brand new. Right, got some trailer plugs in there. Let's see. Sink. You got uh, USB ports right here, right? Uh, what else we got going on here? Oh, you got a plug here, right? All right, open this. Let's see. Oh, I have the I have the window locks on, don't I? All right, let me go unlock the windows. I do this on every video lately. <sighs> Boom. There. Okay. So let's go back here. See if I've fixed the problem or if it needs a window motor. Ah, fixed. <laughs> I need to check on that before I start videos. What do we got here? We got an outlet here. Wait, these are USB ports, right? Yeah, and then you got a power plug here. You got some AC vents. That does not consider rear AC. Everyone in the uh, shady guys like to know it's got rear AC. Those are just vents for the air that comes out here. Rear AC, rear AC makes its own AC separately. Don't let people BS you. It makes me crazy. It's got rear air conditioning. Uh, no, actually, it doesn't. <laughs> so annoyed. Gives us a bad name. I don't like it. So here's your tire pressure sticker. Here's your VIN stamp on the door. If this was a, a new car dealer trade-in, they would have never sold it. <laughs> they would have sold it on their property. This thing is way too nice a truck for them to not sell it. But the lease guys, they uh, don't have a really a good way of selling them, so this is what they do which cost them a fortune. It's like there's a little bit of a, little bit of a tear right there. Like really tiny one right there. Let's see, let's see, oh, down, up. There's your tilt wheel, right? All right, let me hop in this guy. Got all these papers on my feet. Okay. Seatbelt on. go let's get some AC going here it's freaking warm we're still um, we're still gonna get to 93 today November 5th nice steering controls volume up or down and up change the station okay let's see now let's go that phone apps Connect device, find mobile apps, blah, blah, blah. Settings, all that stuff. Audio, there you go. Let's see, you got tow setting. It just says tow haul. And then it's got the sport setting. That's sport setting. And then you got regular, okay? Let's see here. This is your tire pressures. You go to display mode. Tire pressures, speedometer, oil life, engine hours, keys, distance to empty, temperature and tranny. There you go. I'm gonna go back, go down. There you do that. Towing, trailer status, no active trailer, trailer options, sway control, blah, blah, blah. Off road, there's your little compass. You don't want that to go sideways. Um, let's see, what else we got going on here? Settings, calculations, blah, blah, blah. That's all boring. I like that so you got the speedo right let's see lights uh, blah, 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 blah. i think that's about it oh you got cruise control here 
from cruise on and off. I definitely used that the other day. It works fine. Bluetooth phone, right? I think that's it. I mean, this is a really loaded up XL. It's kind of, I, I, I don't understand why they throw their vehicle under the bus showing it as an XL when it's really a really nice XLT is what they really are. Um, that's about it here to show you. Just want to make sure I don't leave anything out. Let me turn this down so you can hear me better. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, it's things there. Yeah, that's, I think that's about it. Put on recirculate. There we go. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, uh, this truck, if you come to drive it home, beautiful truck, great ride home, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, by the way, our road, if you can tell, is horrific, patched and potholed. So you're getting a nice, uh, doesn't rattle video here. I'm gonna be quiet for a second. Okay, that's where the gets a little better here. So anyway, uh, if you, uh, if you pay by wire and ship, once we receive full payment uh, by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, uh, sign it off to you. We'll scan it in your online file and we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope in, uh, that we mail it in. You will have the truck shipped to you. Uh, the title will already be in your mailbox when your shipper shows up with the truck. You'll take the truck and the, and the uh, title and go get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let us know early in the transaction. We can do it for you. We can give you phone numbers to call yourself or you can just do it yourself. Um, but let us know early so that we can get your truck moving, okay? We can also roll the uh, price of the shipping into the into the vehicle, which you may like uh, with a loan, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's how obviously helpful, especially with uh, higher dollar trucks, newer trucks like this. Um, people like to do that. Um, deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your, uh, your uh, deposit in. Okay. Last part of every video, normally I used to give a speech and it ends with, you know, the truck's yours on day one and we're not fixing anything, but it does have powertrain warranty, so I don't have to go there. So it'll be amended. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in all day. You're not paying for any of that stuff when you buy from us. Okay. You're not paying for a fancy location. You just saw where we drive up, drove off from, right? Um, so you're not paying for our high rent like they are down the uh, down the street about a half a mile from us um, uh, so you're saving a pound of money uh, they also know that if they sold you this truck and something broke that uh, they you would come in and say oh, I paid 92 billion dollars this truck you probably pay about 30 for this truck there to tell you the truth um, uh, which is way too much um, they would say we'll fix your truck well, of course they would. They made a lot of money, all right? So they should fix your truck. Uh, we're not making a lot of money. Uh, we're not charging you as much as we can, as we could, because we need to move vehicles. We're not here to store vehicles and become a museum, okay? Uh, what really matters is the powertrain, and it's got a lot of warranty left. Um, but, you know, if a window motor or a mirror stopped working or the radio decided to stop working, you're fixing it with your money. Okay, you saved a ton of money buying from us, uh, put it to use, all right? Uh, that being said, God, what, this thing's not gonna break. Nothing's gonna break on this stupid thing. Knock on wood. <laughs> I don't think that this thing can break uh, anytime soon unless you put it in a ditch or hit a semi or never take care of it. That might do it. Um, anyway, my brother's uh, doing photos right now. So this thing's next in line. He's just done with that Duramax up here. And uh, that'll be that beautiful truck. Thank you for your time.